So I'm Robert Thiemann. I look after Siemens Smart Infrastructure in India. Yeah, hi, Robert. The first question for you is, how can businesses strike a balance between profit-making and sustainable practices? Can you provide insights into successful corporate sustainability initiatives? So first of all, I think the most important topic is to see that there is no contradiction between sustainability and profit-making. Uh, they are actually very complementary. Um, there are many examples of how actually uh, being sustainable is also good for the bottom line. Uh, one example I'd like to share with you is, for example, e-buses, which are, let's say, evolving in Mumbai today. If you have a look at that, uh, you can see that the cost of running e-buses in Mumbai today per cost per kilometer is 70% of uh, what a normal bus would uh, cost. And I think this is already a good business case. It shows you very clearly that profitability and sustainability are not contradictory. Right. So how can emerging technologies play a role in advancing sustainability goals? Are there specific applications that are set? Okay. If you look at sustainability, one of the most important aspects is the reduction of carbon. And um, there are multiple ways of uh, making this happen. Uh, the first part I would look at is decarbonization, which is actually uh, taking non-electrical sources of energy out of the equation. So electrification plays a very critical role um, and making sure that uh, this electricity comes from a green source. So it can be any renewable form of energy. Uh, the second aspect is actually the topic of energy efficiency. Actually, by saving energy, uh, you can do a lot uh, uh, to actually reduce energy consumption. And that also contributes not only to the bottom line, uh, but also um, reducing your carbon footprint. The third aspect is the topic of resource efficiency. So that is extending the life cycle of products, et cetera, uh, which also contribute to this. And then finally, um, I think for sustainability to work, it has to be also somehow human-centric. So I just give you a very plastic example. If today someone's driving a car, to become sustainable, he's not going to shift from a car to walking or using a cycle. Yeah? So you have to find something uh, which solves the problem of comfort, plus also addressing, let's say, uh, uh, progress in, uh, in, in mobility. And e-mobility is one of uh, those examples. So uh, looking at technologies which support all these four pillars is, is an important part to contribute to sustainability. And when it comes to actually enabling a lot of this, I think digitalization plays a key role because uh, with the help of computing power, you can first of all simulate uh, uh, the kind of stuff you're going to build before actually doing it, which becomes more energy efficient. You can use the power of computing to actually then also later on optimize the use of this infrastructure. And I think those are good examples of how technology can contribute uh, to a sustainable future.